Welcome to Greg Ellis TV. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Samsung's Galaxy Smart View on your Samsung Galaxy phone. What this allows you to do is mirror what's on your phone to your television or another display. So it's pretty cool. We're gonna go all through it and let's get to it. How you're gonna access Smart View is you're gonna swipe down and at the bottom here, you'll see Smart View. Now, if you don't, what you're gonna do is hit this pencil and you're gonna go into device control and media output buttons and make sure it's set to show when quick panel is collapsed. After we're done doing that, you're gonna do smart view mirror screen. You tap on that and it's gonna ultimately show you a bunch of displays, televisions and things that you can send it to. See, I can send it to even people's <laughs> if they have it open. Like Blake's Roku, I think that's my neighbor. I can send it to his Roku if I really wanted to. This is my OLED, that's not even my OLED television, that's somebody else's OLED television because I don't have a 77 inch OLED. I do have an LG 55 inch, but that's not mine. So these other displays are mine. So I'm gonna ultimately send it to this television, which is the one at the top, the 65 inch Roku Plus series 4K television. So all I'm gonna do is I am going to, and you can see in the blue writing, I've already done that before. So I'm just gonna tap on it and it's gonna begin to connect. And there it goes. It's going into the television. It's saying starting the video from Greg, which is me, obviously. And at this point, I can see my display. That little thing will go away in just a moment, as you can see. When you rotate the display, it even gets bigger. And you can see it is cutting off the black bars. We're gonna show you how to get around that, especially if you go into apps. So I'll, for instance, I'm just gonna go into YouTube. And with YouTube, I can go into a video and I'll play this one. You can see the screen is playing audio. I'm gonna mute it from my TV remote. You can also control the, the volume from here. You can see I muted it that way as well. You can do it from your phone or the remote on your television. When I turn it sideways, it gets bigger, but it's not covering the full screen. So let me show you how to do that. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna see this little thing down here. Okay, swipe, swipe it over, I should say. And then swipe it back. If I hit this plus sign, you can see I can do app cast, or I can change the aspect ratio or pause smart view. So I'm gonna do app cast first. When I do app cast, it pops into this little, this version of the, the app. I'm gonna minimize what I was watching there. And it automatically jumped into app view, so now it's playing full screen for me. But I can go back into that and choose a different app. So I'm gonna swipe it back out, I'm gonna hit that, let me just close this app for now. I'm gonna hit this button right here for app cast. I tap app cast, open an app in full screen to cast it. So I'm gonna choose a different app at this point. I'm gonna choose Chrome and I have it selected. The website's up, I'm gonna turn it sideways and it's not full screen yet. So let me swipe it out. I'm gonna do this again, app cast. So now I have full screen web browsing on here and the delay is actually not that bad. It's a little bit of a delay. I'll just scroll a little bit, you can see. So it's a slight delay, maybe like less than half a second, but it's ultimately, you can pretty much have this huge screen to come on here and read a website, show off a video, whatever you want on here. It doesn't have to be online stuff either. I've got a video here playing and the latency is amazing. It doesn't look bad, the quality looks good. It's all playing directly from my phone. And since I have it in app view, I can actually go home and that will still play on there, but I can use my phone to go on the website that I want and use it and it doesn't affect this at all. So it's pretty cool that you can use your phone at the same time, but also push the video or whatever app you want to that. So you can do two things at once, which is uh, again, absolutely amazing. Here's my uh, book library. If I wanted to read a, a book on here, I'll just pull up a book here and you can read a book in a huge display. Make that big, got it, and here I go. I'm reading a book on my giant television screen. As you can see, it has multiple functions and it's very, very handy and works on multiple devices. So if you don't have it, you definitely wanna get a Samsung Galaxy device because it's a really, really cool feature. Thanks for watching, have a great day, and we'll see you down the road. Peace.